I'm a mess this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> So it was just over 10 years ago and we crossed paths together. I saw you, you saw me. I said to myself, the Lord is my shepherd, I know what I want. And our conversations together, you know, moved you from being the desire of my eyes to being the desire of my heart. It is you and you alone in this world, in this whole planet that God has instilled in enabling me to recognize and to give birth to the vision and the purpose that God has put aside for me. But above all these things in you, I found a friend one who knows me better than anyone else, including myself. I'm grateful, I'm honored, I'm humbled, exceedingly blessed to have you and call you my wife. I pray that the Lord grant me strength, the ability, the wisdom to become the husband that you deserve and to fulfill all the desires of your heart. I've loved you for the past 10 years. I will choose to love you every day of our lives as we continue on this crazy adventure together. My dear husband, look at how far we have come together. We have been through the most, but look at how far God has brought us. I have seen and experienced you in many ways that many have not. We have experienced mountaintops together, as well as valleys. We have prayed together, cried together, struggled and wrestled together. God never forsook us, even during our valleys. He was there. The suffering was all for his glory, because he too suffered before he was lifted high. If it wasn't for the Lord who was on our side, we would have never made it this far. But on our first day out together, which was not even really a date, I heard a distinct, clear, audible voice say, this is your husband. God did give me many confirmations, but it was the moment when I was randomly looking at your driver's license and I realized it had my birthday on it as the date of issue. Then I just knew that I was yours and all my walls and God came tumbling down. <laughs> 